are you planning on coming to the UK and you don't even know how to go about it? There's a new visa categories that the UK government just announced. This new visa category allows you to come to the UK to work without writing the ILTS exam and as well as migrate with your family members. So if that's what you want to hear, please watch this video to the end. The UK government announced a new visa category a few days ago, which allows individuals to migrate to the UK without writing the IELTS exam. And this exam is an English exam that most people are scared of. I'm here to give you guys more info about this new visa category. This video is packed with lots and lots of information. So do not forget to watch to the end so as not miss out on any info I'll be sharing in this video hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Prashi Gold and if you're new here welcome 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 on this channel I share every info about UK lifestyle skincare motherhood and everything in between as I've said earlier this new visa category allows an individual to migrate to the UK to work without writing the IELTS exam and also gives you the opportunity to migrate to the UK with your spouse and your children and many companies are currently recruiting people for these new visa categories and one of the company among them is the NHS and please watch to the end so as to not miss out on any info I'll be sharing on this video Is this a new visa category or a replacement for an existing visa category? So guys, let's find out in this video. So this visa is called the Religious Worker Visa. It is a temporary work visa that allows you to come to the UK to work. So guys, let's look at the overview. It says that you can apply for a temporary work visa religious visa if you want to do religious work in a non-pastoral role or religious order and you must meet the other eligible requirements so this visa now has replaced the t5 which is the temporary work visa so for you to be eligible for this um, new category of visa you must have a certificate of sponsorship from your uk sponsor and you must also have money to support yourself in the UK. You will usually need to have at least £1,270 available in your accounts unless you are exempted. And you must be above 18 years to be able to apply for this new visa category. Also, your employer must make sure your job pays at least the minimum wage and follow the UK rules on how many hours a week you are allowed to work. If your employer does not do this, your application will be refused. So for you to be able to get this kind of job, you need a certificate of sponsorship. So now you must have a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed sponsor before you can apply to come to the UK to work. So now you have to look for those jobs that are currently recruiting for this visa and apply. Most companies are currently recruiting for these new visa categories and one of them is the NHS. I'll also list down more companies currently recruiting for this type of visa down in my description box below. So now, how long does it take for you to get uh, your visa? You can apply for a visa up to three months before the day you are due to start work in the UK. And the date is listed on your certificate of sponsorship. So getting a decision, how long does it take for you to get a decision for this new visa category? It takes about three weeks if you're outside the UK and eight weeks if you're inside the UK. And how much does this cost? You, your partner or children will each need to pay the application fee. And also you have to pay the healthcare subcharges, which is usually um, £624 per year. I'll be listing down the link below so you can be able to check how much um, you will have to pay. How much does this new visa category cost? The application fee for each person is £298. If you as the main applicant is applying with three or four of your dependents, you are going to pay £298 each. And the fee is the same whether you are applying from inside the UK or you're applying outside the UK. 
The next subheading is how long can you stay? So now you will be given a visa to live and work in the UK for up to 24 months or up to 28 days more than the time of your certificate of sponsorship. What I mean here is that the, this new visa category lasts for two years. When you are given these um, new visa categories, there are some things you can and cannot do. What you can do is you can study, but for you to be able to study, you'll be needing an academic technology approval scheme certificate. And this will be provided for you by the company that has sponsored you to come work in the UK. You can work for your sponsor in the job described in your CSO. You can also do a second job in the same sector at the same level as your main job for up to 20 hours per week so now if your main jobs are giving you about 45 hours a week you can also do another side job but it has to be in line with the same job your um your, your sponsor to come to the uk to do and you are all, all only allowed to work outside that job for just 20 hours per Week. You can also bring your partners and children with you as your dependents if they are eligible. And you, what you cannot do is get public fund. You are not entitled to public fund, so you cannot get the public fund. And for those of you that, that don't know what certificate of sponsorship means, it, it's a unique reference and number that holds information about the job you will be doing and your personal detail it is not an actual certificate or paper document a certificate of sponsorship is only valid for three months from the date it is assigned to you you also need money to support yourself you need about 1270 pounds and you must provide a bank statement to prove this money and this money has to be in your account for about 28 days and 31 days and you have to provide a bank statement showing this money in your account so here I'll be going to the documents you need to provide for this new visa category. The document you must provide include a certificate of sponsorship, a valid passport, evidence that you have personal savings to support yourself in the UK. You also need proof of your relationship with your partner or your children. You have to provide a TB tested result. You are from a country where you have to take the test. And if you're pregnant, there's a way they do this TB test result that it won't really affect your pregnancy. And you will need to provide a certified translator of any of the documents if they are not written in English or Irish. And it has to be certified. That means it has to be attested by a court. So if you have all these documents ready, the next thing is to go ahead and apply. And you have to apply from the outside of the UK. You must apply online for this new visa category. Have your fingerprints and photograph taken at a visa application center. And this is to get your biometric resident permits. So all the information you'll be needing for this new visa categories, I'll be showing them down in my description box below. The next question is, can you switch to a different visa type? Of course, you can switch to a different visa type. I'll be giving you more info about this in the description box below. Can you extend your visa? Yes, you can extend your visa. But if you want to extend your visa, you have to make sure you extend your visa before your current visa expires. So guys, that's all the infos I'll be sharing for this new visa category. I'll also put down the link in the description box below so you can have more understanding of these new visa categories. And please do not forget to like, comment, and share. Most importantly, subscribe so as to not miss out on any new video I'll be dropping on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.